people and welcome back to another hardware review and we are back with Hellvate. This time we're looking at the Vertex Mautolung RTA. Now this is a little bit special this. If you like a restricted direct along or if you like a really tight mouth along, this could be for you. Not only can you adjust the airflow from the outside but you can also adjust it from the inside on a little deck. Yeah, you've got lots of options. So I'll tell you what, we've got loads to get through, so let's go down low. So the Vertex MTL RTA from Hellvape. It's that normal sort of look of Hellvape. You've got Hellvape at the top, a picture of your tank, and it tells you it's the Vertex. On this side, it tells you what colour you've got. It does come in stainless steel and matte black, and you've got your scratch and sniff. On that side, invoke your vaping genius. You've got a breakdown of the tank on there. And another picture of the tank there. And then on the back, you've got all the features. And you've got the kit contents. You've also don't you've got don't vape in a bin and all your kite marks and all that good stuff. Now inside you do get a user manual and your QC card. You also get a bag of goodies, including that wonderful blue screwdriver out of the crackers. Now this comes as standard it is a three point uh, sorry two mil and a three point five mil. You get an extender glass and an extender chimney. But if it's TPD, you will only get it in two mil. So this is the extender glass to make it three point five. And I'll show you both chimneys. There we go. That's your both chimneys. That's for your two mil, and obviously that is to make it a three point five mil. Again, standard packaging. You get this one um, on the TPD. You'll only get that one. You also get a little tool as well. <coughs> there we go, and that's how you change your actual chambers. A great thing, this. I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. They give you five coils, which is really, really good, just to get you going. So you've got a one ohm uh, canthal coil, and you also get a 0 0.6 ohm canthal coil. I think that's really, really good. I don't think I've ever seen that before, that amount of coils. And you also get some cotton. Just to show you, this one is in the 2 mil configuration. This one is in the 3.5 configuration. There we go. It is a 510 drip tip. It can be a little bit hard when you first get it to get it in and out. So it is interchangeable if you've got your own. And it is a little bit, just give it a good old push down and you'll be fine. It does screw off at the top as well. So I don't know if they're coming out with anything different for that or if it's just for cleaning. Now it is a top fill. You'll be able to see you've got a, a line running around here. So just undo it like that. Now what you'll be able to see is there's a little lip in the inside of there. And then that goes over the top of it just there. I'll come back to that. You've got your two big filling ports and you've also got how to adjust your chamber or take your chamber off. So that is where your little tool fits in and it's reverse threading. So that fits in there and it reverse threads. I will show you that in a second. So yeah, so what this does is it sits over the top. So make sure that you don't over tighten this because it's it's got a, a habit of undoing. Because of that reverse threading, if you over tighten that, you'll end up undoing all of the tanks so don't over tighten this like I said this is a 3.5 mil you do get it in a 2 mil you've got your airflow and you've got six options on your airflow let's go a little bit higher up here so um, on that option it is 5.8 mil wide and it is 1.7 mil in height and then if we just move it that way your first little hole when we get to it make sure I'm in focus there we go. Your first little hole is a 1.6. Your second is a 1.4. Your third is a 1.2. And then your next one is a 1, 1 mil. And then the last one is a 0 0.8 mil. There we go. And it does lock off, just moves either side and does lock off. So if you have a little look on the bottom. You've got your kite marks, don't vape in a bin, it tells you it is hell vape. 
It is a gold plated adjustable 510 and it is slightly protruding. So when you're actually opening this up, make sure you hold the glass and not the top so it'll just undo the top. Hold the glass when you're doing it and then undo it from there. There we go. Just put that to that side. That's how your glass comes off. And then unscrew the top. So that's what it looks like when it's broke down. Some vertex in there. Bit of domage. So you get your little tool, like so. Go, like I said, it is reverse threading. Undo it from there. So as you can see, it does come off like that. Your little screw comes out. And you just unscrew that from the actual top. So that's the chimney for that one. Then all you do is screw that one back in. Get your locking pin. Put that in. Like I said, just get it started. That screws in, like so. So that's locked in now. So that's what it looks like with the extender cham chamber. Get your extender glass, like so. Just put that on. There we go. And then that screws in to there. So that's how simple it is to change the chamber. So the deck itself, as you can see, you've got your two posts. Very, very simple how your coils go in. It just goes into there, and then it goes over whichever uh, airflow you pick from the turntable. We'll have a little closer look at that in a second. It is two flathead screws either side. You've got your uh, wicking ports. As you can see your wick ports come there. I will be doing a build on this for you. So as you can see, you've got your turntable. And what they actually say, if I get my little screwdriver. So the one that's open, the fully wide open one is, the, well, the slit one, as I call it, is 3.2 mil wide. And then it is 1 mil high. Then when you've got your little three holes, that one is 3 times 0 0.8 mil holes. And then the one at the t just on a single is a 0 0.8 mil hole. And you can move them around. So the way you can move them around is just get your little screwdriver like so. It's easy while you're doing it on camera. And then just move it around. There's another little bit there. Now it does pop out as well. So you can you can take it out. There you go. So you can just move it around like that. And then if you want to do it. But it does pop out. So if we just pop this out. And I'll say that and it doesn't pop out. It's a lot easier off of camera. So if you have it open like that, then then you can just do a restricted direct to lung. So you could use it like that. So when you you can take it out, pick whichever one you want. So if you wanted to have it um, with the three holes, so much easier when you've got it in front of you, not on camera. There we go. And then you just push it down. And as you can see, as I pushed it down, now, I've spoken to a lot of other reviewers about this and they're worried like if you use it on a mechanical mod because if this pops out, you're in trouble. So a lot of a lot of other reviewers that I've spoken to have said that they wouldn't use it on a mechanical mod. You know me, I'm not really into my mechanical mods. Mine are more regulated. So, But they have said that they're a little bit worried about that popping out. You can see how easy it was uh, to, to get on. So make sure you do line that up. Like so. And like I said, you got your wicking on this side. So I'll tell you what, why don't we go and stick a build in it? <laughs>
the Vertex MTL RTA from Hell Vape. What do we reckon? Well, let's go top to bottom like we normally do. 510 drip tip interchangeable, but it does unscrew. Now, I'm thinking maybe it's for cleaning or maybe it's that they might be thinking about having another drip tip for the restricted direct to lung. So you could just screw that on top and it'll be a little bit more wide bore. Top film, like I did say um, when we was down low, don't over tighten this because it'll start unscrewing everything. It does sit over the top on the cap. I've had no problems with the filling ports, no airlocks or anything like that. You have got your reversed uh, threading for your screw so you can actually change your chamber. Now remember if it's TPD compliant then it's only going to be 2mm and you're not going to get the extra glass and the extra ch uh, chamber. But if it is the standard then you will get the extra glass and the chamber. 2mm or 3.5mm. So yeah I've had no problem with leaking, no problems at all with the filling. The airflow, we've got to talk about this airflow. You have got so many options with this airflow. You've got the turntable with three different airflows on it and then you've got the um, airflow on the outside which is single. I, did, I didn't mention that, it is just a single airflow. But you can adjust that, you've got it wide open all the way to 0.8mm. So what you can really do with it, you can even take that disc out as well. That gives it even more of a, a, a restricted direct to lung. Now what you can do is, is you can put it on whatever you want on that disc and then you can start dialing it in from the outside. So for these people who really do like the restricted uh, mouth to lung, they're going to really, really like this. And if people like the restricted direct to lung, you're going to like this as well. Now that's how I've really got this. I've got it wide open. So I've got it on the, the wide open on that side, the slit. And I've also got that on the deck itself. Now the coil placement. Now I used um, some proper coils like I always do. Use Little Bro Vapes 10. These are his uh, Martellum Claptons. Now I had to put an extra wrap in it. It's still come out uh, just under 1 ohm. Now, it's like I said, put an extra wrap into it. Now, the coil placement, as you've seen, just do it how I do it. I've, I've tried it higher, I've tried it lower, and it, that seems to be where the best flavor's coming from. Very simple to wick, just use the either sides like I did for a guide. Just tuck it in. I've had no leaking, no problem from that at all. Really good flavor on this. That's at 16 watts, and I've got this on the tech mod. These seem to just marry up really nice. Really good flavour from it. Now, what I would say, there is a little bit of fiddling with, obviously, that being a reverse screw, you can make sure you hold the glass if you're taking the bottom off. Make sure everything's really tight, not overly tight, but everything's all tightly put together before you fill it. Um, like I said, hold the glass when you're taking the bottom off. If not, you're just going to unscrew everything. Don't over tighten the top cap either. Now, this is we've seen this sort of airflow before with the Pandora where you could actually change it with a screwdriver. I just like the option of that you can dial it into how you want to vape. And it gives you so many different options on it. Now, I did mention about that disc. Uh, again, I, I don't usually use so many me mechanical mods. I'm more of a regulated mod. And I have spoke to a couple of other reviewers and they've mentioned that if that pops out while well, you're using, obviously, a mechanical mod, you can be in a lot of trouble. It could have been nicer if they'd have made it more fixed and it just moved around. Um, if you are going to use it, take that out and, <laughs> and dial it in from the outer airflow. I think it looks really nice. I do love the look of it. And like I said, it's fitted really nicely on there. 22 mil. Now, I did say there were only stainless steel and matte black, but there isn't. There is quite a number of other colours. So if you just look above my shoulder now, I will stick it above there. Really do like it. Really do like it. And it is going to be one that I'm going to be keeping. This is I'm going to be using this quite... A, constantly i've got the, the black one as well i'll be sending that out to uh, my patreons which you can join that just press the link down below get your name up in likes extra videos but yeah all in all really do like that big thumbs up from little bro big shout out to hell for sending this out for review if you know what to do if you like the review make sure you like subscribe and share the subscribe buttons in the corner go press it people i'm nearly at that 3k i'm also on facebook twitter and instagram go and hit me up there and there's one last thing to say keep them juices flowing
Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.